President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump are facing off in a high stakes debate in Atlanta. In a lot of ways, this uh, debate is sort of a wellness check. Americans on both sides of the aisle kind of want to see if these two people still have something in their step, if they're able to respond to questions, if they're able to endure 90 minutes. We've seen Republicans lower the bar for President Joe Biden in public performances, saying that he's cognitively declining. Former President Trump and his allies have really sought to sort of downplay expectations because the bar is so low for President President Joe Biden. For him to emerge victorious, he's just going to have to not die. We know that former President Donald Trump loves last minute stunts, and that's something that's in the air here. Trump has called for drug tests. He has said that President Joe Biden is actually not participating in debate prep, but sleeping and resting until the very last minute. Because they want to get him good and strong. So a little before debate time, he gets a shot in the ass. The Biden people have not responded yet whether they're going to do a drug test as suggested. You know, of course, that's a last minute gambit from Trump that was never discussed when this debate was agreed to. But really, they're sort of taking a no drama approach. This debate has been negotiated to within an inch of its life, and there are some interesting parameters at play that could ultimately shape the kind of debate that we get. For starters, mics will cut off if candidates talk beyond their allotted time. This is different from what we saw in the 2020 debates, where then President Donald Trump came out and interrupted Joe Biden at every possible opportunity. The, the new question Supreme is, Court is the radical question, left. Will you shut who is up, man? Person? He won't be able to do this that time. One of the things that I'm watching for is whether Joe Biden calls Donald Trump a convicted felon to his face after the Manhattan Osh Money trial verdict. It's a rigged trial, a disgrace. Whether or not those words will actually exit Joe Biden's mouth is interesting, particularly given his own son's conviction in Delaware. And so in the debate room where we can easily expect both Joe Biden and Donald Trump to claim victory after the fact, there will likely be recriminations about whether, you know, CNN hosts like Jake Tapper were fair to Trump, but Donald Trump agreed to all of these things. We know that there is another uh, possibility of a debate scheduled later in the year, but you know, nothing is promised. Either of the, the candidates could pull out of a future debate, and it's quite possible that this may be the only debate we get. So the stakes, in a lot of ways, couldn't be higher.